Today we'll be learning how to use the Beanstack app to register and log your reading for the Summer Library Program. All right, so we will be using Beanstack at our library, so we're going to click on that top option. Now, Beanstack is different for every library, so you will need to look up the specific website for your library. So for us, we're going to click on that bottom one we're going to type in Troy PL and hit search. As you can see, it is the first and only option, so we're going to click on that. Now it brings us here. If you have used Beanstack before to do any of our summer programs or anything else, do not make a new account because then we will have duplicates and it will make it a lot harder for you to track your reading. So we're going to click on sign up at the bottom, and that is how we're going to send up a new user. So, have we previously used Beanstack? Nope, we are not if we are a new user. So, going to create an account, going to just make it my email, which is easy to remember, or at least the first part. Now, this is, as I'm doing this, I will let you know, the iOS app. The Android app is very similar, but it does look slightly different. So there may be some things in different places, but in general, it has all of the same functionality. All right, so it will take you through personal information. So you're going to put in your name, your number, and all of this can be added and edited later as well. So don't worry about that. You do not need a library card to sign up for Beanstack or for summer reading. So you can skip that for the time being. And now we're all signed up. So if I'm an adult, I will fill out my reader profile and that will take you to where you can enter in your own information. But let's say we are adding a child. So I am going to click on add a reader. So as the adult, you can register one or multiple children to participate. So we're going to register our first reader and we're going to call her Hermione. So we're entering in Hermione Granger's information and she is 10 years old this year. So that means she will be participating in the Youth Challenge as a reader. Again, something you can upload later. So we're gonna say that Hermione is going into fifth grade Again, library card not necessary. And now you can see this is the challenge that Hermione is eligible for, the Summer Library Youth Reader Challenge. So you see now that Hermione is eligible for the Youth Reader Challenge. So we are going to register her for that one. It will ask you what school the reader goes to. So we're gonna say she goes to Barnard. We're gonna hit done and register. So now Hermione is registered for that one. We're going to click continue. You will then see that the profile is complete and it gives you the option to add another reader. So if you are a parent or guardian and you are adding multiple children, whether they're participating in listener or reader, you can do that here. So now we're gonna go into Hermione's challenges and it shows that she is registered for SLP reader. So once we click into it, you'll see an overview of all of the different things, whether it's your badges, your reading minutes, your reviews, etc. Your badges tab will show you what badges you have completed and which ones you still have yet to do. If you click on the activities tab, this will show you all of the available activity badges for this challenge. It will show you instructions if you click into them as well. On your rewards page, it will show you when you have earned rewards for your hours read or books if you're in a listener challenge. The ticket drawings will be all of the grand prize drawing tickets that you have to spend. It will show you how many you have and eventually it will show you how many you've put into each. So now at the bottom, this plus sign will show you that you can add reading or you can add a review. That is how you will do this on the app if you would like to log something. So we're going to say that I read Max and the Midnights. So we're going to type that title in. And it will show up and you select the one that you read. 
So right now, this will not count towards Hermione's summer reading challenge because you cannot start logging your books until June 14th. That is important to remember. But otherwise, this is how you sign up for Beanstack and the summer reading challenge on the app. As I mentioned before, the Android app might look a little bit different, but it works the same. This is a very easy way to keep track of everything that you're doing and it will help you get the most out of our summer reading challenge. Thanks so much for watching and happy reading. We hope to see you at the kickoff event on June 14th.